your news starts now with this special Pick Trail Nation report. Welcome in, Alyssa Orange alongside Mike Irwin. And as we get set for the Elite Eight matchup tomorrow night, you know, this moment, Mike, this run by this team right now is something that is going to stick with Razorback fans no matter their age. Some who are young, and this might be the biggest thing happening in their lifetime, are older fans. You know, who have seen a lot of great moments, and this is just another one of them. Our Troy Lynch in Indianapolis talking to one man who's seen a lot of big Arkansas moments. Hey, Troy. Hey, Alyssa. Yeah, that one man being Chuck Barrett, the voice of Arkansas men's basketball. He's also been broadcasting for the Hogs for the last 30 years. So as you can imagine, he's covered some pretty big games, some pretty big events. I'm talking about College World Series. I'm also talking about some pretty big bowl games, too. But this is the farthest that the Arkansas men's basketball team has ever gone with him being the voice of the team. So I asked him a little bit earlier today, what, how does this event compare to some of the other big ones that he's called in the past? Sometimes when things like this happen, you get in your mind that, oh, we're going to do this every year. And then all of a sudden you look up and 10 years have passed and you haven't had another opportunity. So that's the thing that just as a broadcaster, it's hard to compare events because I remember the first time I went to Rosenblatt Stadium in Omaha, I thought I'd reached the pinnacle of my broadcast career. Uh, then we played in the uh, BCS Bowl and now we're here. So um, this is right up there, I promise you. And if they... Uh, um, you know, if they go all the way to the finish line, I doubt anything will ever beat it. And that's what Hog fans are hoping for to go to the finish line. And you know what? It'd be pretty cool to hear Chuck calling a national championship if you're not able to watch it on TV and you can listen to it on the radio. But of, yeah. of course, Alyssa, well, we can't talk about a national championship. They got to get through Baylor first in the Elite Eight tomorrow night, right? Yeah, absolutely. But you know, Troy, a lot of people watch the game on mute and Chuck and Z on the radio. So you can have the best of both worlds, absolutely. Thanks so much. You know, Mike, you heard what Chuck said there and his thoughts, very similar to, I'm sure, your experience. Experience covering this team for so long. Where does this rank for you? You know, it is special because this run through February and March has been such a big surprise. It's like getting something for your birthday that you never expected. <laughs> it's also a huge deal because something that was lost has been found. I've told Hog fans for years the basketball program can become elite again under the right coach. And I really believe the same is true for football. But look, there is a huge difference between the Elite Eight and the Final Four. The, the Final Four is rarefied air. You're near the summit of Mount Everest. You can see it, smell it, taste it. If this team takes that next step, it's in the club, a club of five Arkansas teams all time that have made the Final Four, and six would be awesome. And with Alabama out of the tournament now, Arkansas would be kings of the SEC. The publicity between now and next October would be off the charts. Yeah, absolutely. It would. Arkansas, the only SEC team standing. They take on Baylor, trying to punch their ticket to the Final Four. Tomorrow night's game, 8:57 on CBS from Lucas Oil Stadium. Tomorrow night, a big one for Arkansas fans everywhere. That's going to do it for us. Your news at 10 starts now.